What's good everybody, James Jackson here, back again with another video. If you're new to my channel, I do tips, tricks, news, and reviews for the film and video making industry. So if you do love the content here, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you can stay up to date on all the content going forth. So today is a big day for those of you guys that have been following me for a while. I've been talking about this, the black, uh, the Canon C70 firmware was just released earlier this morning and I've been taking around with it. So I thought I'd show you guys, you know, one of the things that why I'm so super excited about it. So right now you're, what you're seeing is my multi-view from my uh, Atom Mini Extreme. So I want you guys to sort of be able to take a look and be able to see just the functionality, especially when you're talking about doing stuff for like live events and, and video conferencing and things like that. So I wanted to show you. So the big thing that I told you guys about is that you can now install, a, uh, put LUTs out of the HDMI. As you see right now, it looks like it's in C-Log 2. This is normally before this firmware what you would have seen. So what we're going to do now is we are going to just go through go through the, I'm gonna go through the menu system with you guys. Um, so the thing you got to do first, just to be, uh, make sure, cause you will do a factory reset. So make sure you save all your settings of how you customly uh, set up your C70 because it will reset everything and you're gonna to have to do everything back all over again. So, but the thing you need to do is sort of go to the assignable, let's go to the assignable button sections. Um, but you need to basically be able to set and access the, the LUT. So for this, I set, uh, there's a new button called View Assist HDMI. And this is how you access it. Now I've set it to button 11, which is the button on the right hand side of the camera uh, up front. So as you'll see, all I have to do is hit this button. And now we got C Log 2 out of the HDMI. This is extremely, extremely huge. So now we can get clean, wide dynamic range, some of the best uh, dynamic range, straight out of this camera, right into uh, whatever device you're recording, whether it's an ATEM Mini like this, or you're going to something like an Atomos Ninja recorder, you can pull that back in. Uh, there also is another cool trick. So I'm going to open up the settings real quick and I'm going to go to the select profile. You can now sort of bake in your, now you could bake, put your LUTs in before, but now you can actually like bake it in and essentially just not even have to hit that button. So right now I have my red look from my uh, C70 LUT pack, my Ari look and my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K look. Uh, what's cool is I can, so if I go to the red, if I go to the red look and I go out of that, now as you can see here, now it's baked into the image. So if I'm doing live streams with red cameras, I can basically just get like do a test and get the ca cameras to look together and now I can just send this right out to the HDMI, right to the switcher. So making, you know, deli the delivery aspect of it way much simpler. Let's go back. We can also, I got an Ari look. So now I can preset these LUTs, put them out here. So this is, and then they're baked in. So just make sure because they're baked in, make sure you have that view assist turned off when you're going through the HDMI. And then the last one, obviously is the Blackmagic. Since we're on the A10 Mini, I can now put the pocket 6K look right here and now it will match uh and now i can match so if i ever do shots with pocket cinema cameras the image will line up and look similar to that so that's the first big thing the next one i know a lot of you guys are excited about and that is the new focus assist uh button. and if it's just shaky it's on my gimbal so that's why i apologize for that uh but let's go to the first you got to go to the first tab and let's go across so when you go to your focus modes and you go to your stat AF mode, you want to uh, to continuous. Now normally it's set to large, but now you got a new frame rate. It's called whole area. You want to select that, and when you do that, now let me turn uh, the focus assist feature off. Now I, what I'm going to do is I'm about to just all I'm going to do right now is just tap the screen, and then boom, as you can see right here on the screen, it is tracking. And that was just from touch. And let's tap here. As you can see, it's now tracking the information. It's tracking that. So all you now have to do is just touch the screen and you can start tracking objects. So 
really really cool i'm so happy hopefully you guys enjoy this little feature make sure to download it all you have to do is just download the firmware put it on an sd card uh and just put it in the main uh the main area and then just update the firmware up there actually i could just show you that real quick in case you know so all you have to do is download the files uh you have to and then all you have to do is then go to your uh the one that has like the wrench you're going to go to the pro it's like near the end yeah all the way at the end at the very bottom firmware update you're going to update this this is the name of the fir current firmware the firmware update uh you'll have the previous one all you have to do is click that and say update to the next one it'll take about i will say uh probably a good 10 minutes for the firmware to install but again remember this is uh keep in mind people this is uh going to reset everything so be aware of that but i just wanted to make this quick video for you guys so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like leave a comment below and make sure to hit that subscribe button and until next time take care everyone